welcome to my new shop. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I moved out of my apartment and that meant I packed up the workshop and we moved into this new place and along with it came this garage. The garage is about 29 feet long and 19 feet wide. Being able to park two cars inside is something that's important to us. So having this extra deep garage was a perfect scenario for us. It allows us to still have somewhere to park the cars and a place to set up another small shop. Right now I've got the first 10 feet of the garage sectioned off for the shop area. And if you draw a line from those cabinets over there, across this table, over to these cabinets, forward to that wall is about 10 feet and then it's 19 feet across. A little less than 200 square feet, which is almost double what I had in the apartment workshop. Talk about an upgrade. Now I could be like all the other cool YouTube woodworkers and turn this whole 600 square foot garage into my dream shop. But I think I proved with the apartment workshop that you don't need a whole lot of space to make cool stuff. Look at all the stuff I made with 100 square feet. Imagine what I can do with 200 square feet. With the first 10 feet sectioned off for the shop area, that leaves about 19 feet by 19 feet for a two-car garage, which might be on the small side for some, but with our small cars, it seems to work fine. Uh, I can even park our small pickup truck in here uh, with no problem. So my thoughts are to build a wall and section off the shop area from the parking area for a couple of reasons. The main reason is for climate control. In the summer, it can easily get to 90 or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the winter, it will get well below zero sometimes in the evenings. Another reason is for humidity and to control humidity. I've noticed it's much more humid in the garage than it was in my apartment. And things like my table saw sled, um, when it's really humid, they don't operate as well anymore. So I want to control the humidity. Another thing I want to control is the dust, and I like to keep the dust off of the cars in that side of the garage and try to contain it within this portion. And lastly, I want to be a good neighbor and not create too much noise, so putting up another wall will be better at soundproofing than that garage door will be. Now, I still want to be able to use the parking spots as a place to build things. My wife and I recently built a full-size bed for the guest room in our house, and we used these parking spots and they came in very handy to set up the bed as there's not really enough space within the workshop area to set up large projects. So my thought for when building the wall that will divide the shop from the parking spots is to leave a large opening right here that I've left kind of between the table and the cabinets and put a patio door style sliding door there. That way, in the summer when the climate's nice, we can use this area to build larger projects and it'll be an extension of the shop. Yet, when it gets colder or more humid, I can control the climate by shutting the doors and controlling just the smaller shop area. Along with a wall and a door in this section, the other thing I'm planning on doing is insulating the, the blocks for the foundation as they're just open on the outside as well as the concrete floor probably with some rigid foam and maybe a uh, plywood or some kind of a uh, flooring on top of the foam in addition this window is fake that's not an actual window it's just a couple of panes screwed into the opening so i want to do something about that to make that a little more energy efficient so now that you have an idea of the space and what i want to do with it let me just walk you around the layout i have and tell you what i'm thinking so over on this side right now i just have all my scrap woods and that's probably a good place for them to be for now um right behind the door is kind of a useless space for tools so i think the wood storage works okay there for now um, maybe if I could clean this up and organize it a little more, I could put a smaller table and some tabletop tools over in this corner. And imagine there being a wall right here, a short wall. Just inside the main door of the garage is my table saw right now. And I want to make the, the table and the fence longer so that I can rip 
longer or wider cuts. Right now I think I'm limited to about 16 inches, so I'd like to get up to at least 24, if not like 32 or 36. So I'll widen the table saw a little bit, but not too much because I do encroach on the floor space. I've got a outfeed table just made uh, quickly there. I don't think the tool wall is going to stay here. It might make more sense over maybe like on the short wall when that gets built or um, I'm not exactly sure, but right by the table saw doesn't seem to be a good spot because I often hit the clamps and stuff when I'm working there. Over here, I've got the futon workbench, if you guys remember that from the apartment workshop and the miter saw. I think what I want to do with the miter box is build a miter saw station that would run along this wall. And that way I could locate the miter saw in the middle and that would give me the full, what, 19 feet across to lay boards across to um, cross cut. Right now I can only cross cut like six or eight feet um, boards with it being on the short wall. So I think a miter saw station is probably gonna be in order and that'll fill in this wall area where right now I've got the sanding and drill press station set up, which is very similar to how I had it in the apartment workshop. You'll notice I have cabinets uh, everywhere. I'm even using them for my outfeed table. There are a whole bunch stacked over there. Those came out of our kitchen where we recently remodeled the kitchen and put floating shelves in instead of cabinets. So I plan to reuse the cabinets probably above this um, workbench, maybe use them in the miter saw station. They do actually make a really good um, table bases. So maybe I'll incorporate a couple of them into a outfeed table or something similar, but I'll be reusing all of those kitchen cabinets out here in the workshop. The ceilings are almost 10 feet tall, which is awesome. It makes it feel nice and roomy in here. I think maybe up top, either there or on this wall, I could definitely put in some wood storage to get some of this off the floor. And I also wanna work on the ceiling. I definitely need more lighting in here right now. There's just these two that are over the shop area and I added the third one over there. And obviously I plan to sheet that wall and put a vapor barrier up. I'll, I'll do all of that when I build and then close the wall over here. Well, that's the new space. I'm pretty excited to build out the space and start making some projects. And of course some videos. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you watch, yeah, how about 30 by 20 roughly, not quite 600 square feet.